God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And uh, we want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. At the same time, we wanted to say, Happy Father's Day. Feliz Día de los Padres a todos los padres. Amen. So yeah. praise God. And we're going to be talking about our message today. It's going to be about Happy Father's Day. Amen. Amen. So. I didn't want to name it that nail, so I just say Happy Father's Day. So we're going to go with that. So guess what? God's not finished with you. So be encouraged and know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. I'm on go. We have fellowship today, so it's going to be short and sweet. Amen. Yeah. And going to hold you on. <laughs> Grab your sword and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yeah. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing, nothing like the word. Amen. The word can change you. The word is alive, man. And it's all that you need. But you got to get into it and you got to open it up and read it and get it in you. The Bible says to renew your mind with the word of God. Feed your spirit the word of God and crucify your flesh because your flesh don't want to do nothing. Your flesh wants to be comfy and lazy. Amen. <laughs> we got to get that wrestle going. Come on, amen. Woo. Come on. So the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So don't stop crying about, you know, well, I can't read. No, I can't memorize that stuff. I can't learn that stuff. Quit saying those things. Yeah. Start saying what the Word of God says. You're a can-do person. Say-so person. What am I going to say? I'm going to say what the Word of God says. Amen. And you're going to confess the Word. Amen. And say, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Which strengthens me. So starts confessing what the word of God says. I got a couple of uh, scripture uh, break uh, scripture nuggets for you. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to read them to you. Here we go. It says the Father understands you. Some people will misunderstand your words and deeds, no matter how clearly you express yourself. Unless Father tells you to, don't bother to offer explanation to someone who has already made up their minds about your motives yep. yeah. amen yeah. give it to father cast it on him and press on mighty soldier of god remember yeah. people misunderstood jesus yes they will misunderstand you oh, the yes. father understands you and that's what matters the most yeah. people are going to talk and remember second corinthians 5 17 says the old is gone the new is in yeah. amen i had a spiritual birth Yes. I'm born on the inside, reborn on the inside. I'm a different person on the inside. Mm -hmm. They can't see that rebirth. Right. Amen. Right. All they see is the same person. Yes. They see your out, outward appearance. And they still want to <coughs> talk to you the same yeah. way and yeah. treat you the same way. But I'm a new person in Christ. And you know what? Watch your words, watch your actions. Yeah. Because it's going to totally says different about you say yeah. different things about right. you start acting different start confessing different amen and start doing different amen so praise god don't worry about that you don't have to explain you don't have to explain to say i'm a new person right. when the enemy comes in the battlefield of the mind you know and tells you about your old past and your old sins and you say well, you know what i gave him the father so you can go talk to him yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm a new creature in christ and you know, when you start getting the word in you and confessing the word, he's going to run. He says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil. Yes, and he's, he's I'm going to take that word and I'm going to confess it and I'm going to say it. And he's going to flee from me. You don't want to hang out with me no more. Amen. Amen. And some of them old friends, they ain't going to want to hang out either. Nope. Amen. Because you got new motives. You got new words. You got new actions. Amen. And I'm, I'm serving my father now. So they're going to flee from you. <laughs> Praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you. It's time to get excited. Amen. I think we read this before tomorrow. I'm going to read it again. Because this is happening less and less. Mm. And we need to remember this. 
says the importance of fellowship. And praise God, we have fellowship today. We're celebrating Amen. Father's Day. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the importance, the importance of fellowship. As Christians, we need to have fellowship as often as possible with wholehearted fellow followers of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And if we love Jesus, we will want to be together with our brothers and sisters in the Lord to bless, to encourage, and to edify one another. It will be a joy and not a burden to come right. together. Uh -huh. Real godly fellowship helps to keep us fervent and committed in our relationship to Jesus and one another. In the yeah. in the days in which we are living, we need fellowship more than ever. Good godly fellowship is certainly very important for our spiritual growth and development. The yeah. Bible says in Hebrews 13, 55, excuse me, it says, well, let me read it to you first. It says, that he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. That's just so yeah. important that we have fellowship with right. him. But we have fellowship with one another. Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. I'm going to read it to you. From a, um, It says, We should keep on encouraging one another to be thoughtful and to, be, and to do helpful things. Mm -hmm. Some people have given up the habit of meeting or worship or for worshiping. But we must not do that. We should keep on encouraging one another, especially since we know that the day of the Lord yeah. is coming closer and closer. Amen. He's coming back. Amen. And we should not, you know, every every time I, I go and see and pass by a church building, <laughs> I don't see people there. Mm -hmm. I don't see cars around there. Mm -hmm. Amen. We should not discontinue this. We should come together yes. and encourage one another. Amen. And get strong. You know, like I said before, you know, we don't come to be entertained. Well, you don't, you don't have this. You don't have that. You don't have this program, that program. Well, we come to be encouraged and we come to be empowered, yes. not entertained. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's the important part of it. You know, hey, you're a very vital part of the body of Christ. But you need to be there for somebody that's not as strong as you are. Amen. Amen. You need to be there because the word of God tells us not to stop doing this. That's we need exactly. to come together. Yeah. Encourage one another. Amen. Amen. He, because he said it, we must continue. Yes. Amen. No matter what, you know. Well, you know what? You know, I can just tune into the TV. I can just put it on cell phone, you know. I don't have to come and be there, you know. I don't want to get dressed. I don't want to do this. It's all about laziness. It's all about me want to be my own self, you know. Well, let's not forget, you know, Jesus could have done all, all those things. When Father came and says, you know what? I'm thinking about sacrificing you and sending you to earth and sacrificing you so I can get my people back. I say, well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want, he didn't volunteer, he didn't want to volunteer. You know, I say, no, he says, okay. Amen. He volunteered himself to be sacrificed. He knew from the time he came to the time he was sacrificed, that he was going to be sacrificed. Yes. Amen. And you know what? We're going to be talking about this, but before he gave himself back to the Father, he says, forgive me. Don't hold this against me. Right. You know, you put it on me. I came. I'm the sacrifice. It's on me. Amen. Forgive him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah, man. Well, if that don't bless you, I don't know yeah. will. You know what? If that didn't bless you, you need to get saved. Amen. <laughs> All you need to do is say, Father, I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Come in my life and be my Lord and Savior. And he will not Turn you down. Amen. Amen. Regardless of who says what, you know, he come, he sacrificed his son for you to have salvation and for you to have fellowship yeah. and, and relationship with him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. So happy Father's Day. We have lots of, where's, where's uh, Noah? Noah. Yeah, Noah, Noah. just for you. Noah. <laughs> happy Father's Day. Keep going. <laughs> We've got quite a few of these. Amen. So we're not forgetting anybody. So if you, can't, if you can't see it, I'll read it for you. But he says, Happy Father's Day. Today we honor all the fathers in our lives. Grandfathers, dads, new dads, stepdads, grandpa, uh, godfathers, adoptive uh, dads, uh, dad-in-laws, pet dads, dads in heaven, expecting dads, and honorary dads. Amen. So we don't want to exclude anybody. Amen. Amen. We don't want to exclude anybody. 
Woo, keep going. Man, these are good. It says, Amen. the greatest gift I ever had came from God. Amen. And I called him dad. Yes. Happy Father's Day, you know. My dad's in heaven, but you know what I said this morning? Dad, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Amen. Amen. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Praise God. He, he did good. Feliz Día del Padre. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Números 624. Amen. You go to number 624. It'll say that, you know, Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Praise God. So happy and feliz Día del Padre. Keep going. Man, we got some good ones. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Where's my, where's the wall? <laughs> says, Feliz Día del Padre. It says, En el temor de Jehová. Está la, fu la fuerte confianza y esperanza tendrá a sus hijos. Proverbios 14:26. And you can go to Proverbs 14:26 and find that. Amen. Woo, hallelujah, man. That's a blessing. Thank you. Keep going. There we go. I just, I saw this. I said, man, I got to have this. It says, <laughs> a godly father is, and it's spelled out in father. Amen. But it says, F is for faithful to God and family. Mm -hmm. A is able to discern God's will mm -hmm. in trying times and right. good times. T is for thankful for all the joys and trials of life. H is for happy no matter what life brings. E is for enthusiastic about life mm -hmm. lived with purpose. And the R says for righteousness rock solid in heart and mind. For a growing relationship with Jesus. Amen. For these things and so many more, we praise God for our fathers this Father's Day and always. Man, that is good. <laughs> if that don't bless you, again, Amen. you got to get saved. Amen. And you know, you know what? Amen. You didn't get here by accident. That's it. <laughs> you didn't get here by accident. And if you're here, that means you had a dad yeah. whether he's in heaven or he's still alive but you had a dad yeah. <laughs> you didn't get here by mistake <laughs> and you didn't get you you got here because you have a father yeah. and you have a mother it takes a father and a mother to have a you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no other way god says <laughs> he created adam and eve amen yeah. so let's get this yeah. right amen yeah. you got problems with your gender uh go to the bible yeah. and the bible tell you what you are you either yeah. man or woman <laughs> and it takes a man and a woman to reproduce yes <laughs> you can't have it any other way no other way <laughs> that's all i'm going to say before that okay <laughs> praise god thank you lord hey i'm just the lord just impressed on me so i just have to lay it out amen praise god oh, thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> speak the truth. We're speaking the word of God, the truth. And it's going to set you free. If you got minds, I mean, the uh, problem with your mind is what you are, you know. The, the word will set you strong. Yeah, right with God. <laughs> Amen. It says, uh, John 3 16, we talked about this a few minutes ago, but it says, For God so loved the world. You know what world is? World is people. Yeah. I hate to be around people. No, oh, man, I can't be around people, you no, know. Uh, and I'm supposed to do this and do this mm. and do this. Well, for God so loved the world, yeah. we're talking about people. And everywhere you go is yes, people. people. <laughs> you can't get away from them. That's it. So you know what? Line up with the Word of God and do what the Word of God tells you to do. Minister to them. Be a minister of reconciliation. <laughs> and let them know how God delivered you. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony and you have a testimony amen. and you can share with them amen, amen. share jesus with them <laughs> but god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he gave amen he gave he didn't have to and jesus didn't have to give himself he could have said no <laughs> i'm not going no you don't go sacrifice me dad <laughs> i don't want to be sacrificed he could have he had a choice and he chose to come and he chose to surrender himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. He gave yeah. his only begotten son. That whoever, whoever, you're a whoever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. You can have everlasting life in heaven. Or you can have everlasting life in hell. Yeah. 
Right. You choose. Yes, because yes. you have a free will. Mm -hmm. And God's yeah. not going to force himself. You know, hey, are you almost convinced <laughs> me. We talked about that at Bible study. The Wednesday. You know what? You, Agrippa said, you, you almost convinced me. Well, oh. almost is not heaven. That's right. it. Right. <laughs> you're going to find me. You're going to wake up in hell. And you're going to say, man, I almost made it to heaven. Mm. Yeah, but you're not in heaven. That's it. <laughs> you have to confess with your mouth. Your mouth. Not mothers. Not right. fathers. Amen. Not brothers or sisters. But with your mouth, confess Him as Lord and Savior. And you will be saved. Amen. And if you're saved, you're going up and not down. <laughs> so you choose which way you're going. You know, just like when you get in the car or the truck or whatever you drive or where you walk. But you choose where you want to go. Amen. Same thing with if I'm a, we're going to be here for a while, I'm going to choose where I want to be the rest of my life. <laughs> I want to be in heaven. Keep going, Carmen. Man, these are good. Happy Father's Day. Number 6, 24 through 26 says, Lord bless you and keep you. Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Numbers 26, excuse me, number 6, 24 through uh, uh, 26. I've got it right over here, so I've got to read them to you from here. It says, it says, Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us our Father. If you've never said that before, it's time for you to say it. Lord, thank you for my Father. You know, He blessed you. He provided for you. He was there to teach you, to show you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for my Father. Amen. Amen. The first thing I said when I woke up this morning, besides greeting my Heavenly Father, I said, Happy, happy Father's Day to my dad. Amen. Praise God. It says to our fathers, watching, listening, living, or in heaven, happy Father's Day. Feliz Dia del Padre. Love you, honor you, thank you, and miss you. Amen. Woo. Happy Father's Day. So Father God loved you so much that he sent his son Jesus. And we, we just read, I'm going to read it to you the way I have it here from King James. It says, for Father God so loved the world, us people that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life yeah. but know and you're guaranteed everlasting life in heaven with him uh -huh. if you confess him and receive him as your lord and savior amen so let's know this it says uh number 6 24 through 26 i just read it to you it says the lord bless you and keep you the lord keep his face shining upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Numbers, you write these down. Number 6, 24 through uh, 26. Now, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Keep going, Carl. Should be next there. Yeah. Anyway, King, uh, this one says, Happy Father's Day. But it says, Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Oh. oh. <laughs> Trust the Lord with all your heart. That means... If we're talking about heart, we're talking about your spirit. <laughs> Amen. We're not talking about your pumping heart. Okay? <laughs> so with all your heart and lean out to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. You know, you have a path to pick, to choose, to go, to walk in. But you know what? It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. He'll direct your path. You know? He says, "He, this is the day the Lord has made. I will... For me to rejoice and be glad in it. But you know, I'm, before I go anywhere, I'm going to spend time with him so that he can direct my, my steps. Amen. So he can direct my steps. He says the steps of a good man are ordered by God. Amen. And this one says, he will direct your path. I have a path. And he's going to be right there with me. Hebrews 13, 5 says that he's with me all the time. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. If you feel lonely, you need to have a relationship. And you need to spend time with Him. Because you shouldn't be lonely if He's your Heavenly Father. Amen. You should be strong all the time. And say, no, and Father is with you all the time. And if you're holding on to negative stuff, then you haven't given it to Him. You need to let it go. Let it go. And cast. He says, cast it on me. He said, He just didn't say, well, just hand it over to me. He says, cast it. Throw it at Him. 
It says, this is for you. I don't want it. Well, good. You know why? Because he's got a mission for you. He's got a path for you to take. And you're not going to take that path if you're overloaded with cares and concerns and worries and distractions and all these negative things coming against you. They're going to hold you back. You ain't got. You can't go anywhere. You're the overloaded. You know, a plane cannot take off, you know, because it's overloaded. You know, these transports, the semis that go cross country, they can't be overloaded. You got to unload yourself before you go anywhere else. I'm so concerned and so overloaded, I can't even focus on what God wants me to do. You got to stay focused, man. You got to cast all that junk away right, yeah. and leave it there. So I can be focused on what Father wants to tell me, what Father, what Father wants me to go. And you know what? My mind is so clear that if He talks to me, I can understand and I can hear what He's saying. I can say, well, you know, something's telling me not to do that. Something's telling me not to go there. Well, that's, something is the Holy Spirit. Right. But you're going to hear clear, you know, when you have a clear mind. Mm -hmm. And when you've given all the concerns to Him, you know. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. The New King James says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart mm -hmm. and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Amen. Amen. So you know what? If you're overloaded with stuff, you're not thinking straight and your mind is not on Him and your mind is not on what God wants you to do. My mind is on, how am I going to fix this? Oh. Well, give it to the one who can fix yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> give it to the one who knows what to do That's with right. it. Yeah. He said, just give it to me. Uh -huh. And we're still holding on to it. Mm -hmm. See how we don't figure it out. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to figure it out. Right. All he wants you to figure is this. Give it to me. <laughs> That's all he wants you to do. Right. We just got to get it from here to there. Confess yeah. it and get it off. You know? Mm -hmm. you, 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 <laughs> I think there's a great school where we uh, teach it with a say, if you're misbehaving, Got a chalkboard full of stuff. He said, go erase the chalkboard. Amen. Uh -huh. And you know what? And go erase all that. Nowadays, you hit a delete. You know, you overload it with stuff. And you hit a delete on your computer, you know. And everything's wiped out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we need to do with the things of the world that holding us back. Yeah. And we don't want to do anything. We can't go anywhere because we can't move. Mm. To hit delete or cast and give it to them. And you know what? That's enough there. We got to press on. We got other things to say. Here we go. Psalms 103. I'm going to got three different translations for you, but Psalms 1, uh, 103, 13 says this. says, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Yes. Amen. Psalms 103 and 13. This one, the Good News translation says, As a father is a kind, compassionate, to his children so the Lord is kind and compassionate to those who honor or fear him amen that's the kind of fear we're talking about yeah. he don't want you to be afraid of him. amen right. he wants you to fear him uh, uh, NIV says this 103 13 says Psalms 103 thir verse 13 says as a father has compassion on his children so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him and the Amplified says this, Just as a father loves his children, so the Lord loves those who fear, worship him, and awe, feel respect, and deepest reverence Amen. towards him. Yes. Amen. Ooh, man. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I wrote this here. It says, Thank you, Father, for loving us and for sending Jesus, for sacrificing your son. And I says, Thank you, Jesus, for loving us and for coming and completing your mission. Yes. Amen. And you know what? I'm sure he went through some problems, you know, oh, but yes. you know what? When he was weak, he went to the Father. When we're weak, we need to go to our Heavenly Father and say, yes. Lord, I, need, I need your strength today. Lord, I need you today. Each and every day. It doesn't matter how many times you go, as long as you go to Him Amen. and not go and pick up a can of booze or a yeah. liquor bottle or or a drug or whatever you know or something else you know that right. that's going to take you away mm. and but it's going to be there again mm. 
-hmm. You know, go to him, Father, I need your strength. Yes. You know, whew, I cast these things on you. You know, we can go, we know we can go to him. Exodus 20 and 12 says this, and we know that. Deuteronomy 5 and 15 says this. It says, honor your father and mother. Yeah that your days may be long on the land which yes. the Lord your God is giving yes. giving you that's, that's right. uh, Exodus 20 and 12 New King James uh, Deuteronomy 5 uh, 16 says honor your father and mother mm -hmm. as the Lord your God has commanded you yes. it, it, it's not a suggestion he well, says yes. commanded you it's a commandment mm -hmm. commanded you that your days may be long and it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Yes. Yes. Amen. So praise God. There we go. And the King James says, Honor your father and your mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. That the days may be prolonged. I want my days to be prolonged. That it may go well with thee in the land in which the Lord thy God has given thee. Yes, amen. amen. I want things to go well. <laughs> amen. So you know what? I think the Bible says something. We've sang this song too. I like this song. He says he's God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. You know, some days we may be up, but there'll be some days where you can go low. But he says he's still God on the mountain, way on the mountain. Yeah. But he's God in the valley too. And the Bible says in Psalms 23, he says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because God is with me. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For being with me. Thank you Heavenly Father for not leaving me nor forsaking me. For being there for me all the time. All the time. I don't know why I still have my glasses on. I don't need them now. <coughs> <laughs> Ephesians 6, 1 and 3. 1 and 3. Keep going. You see what I got. Ephesians 6, 1 and 3. New King James says, Children. Now. <laughs> he's our Heavenly Father. If he's our Heavenly Father, we're his Children. Children. Okay. Okay. Now listen, if you confess them as you know and Savior, quit going around and calling yourself a sinner. Because you're not a sinner. You've confessed him as Lord and Savior. Now you're a child of God. So see yourself as a child of God. I may still sin, but I know I can go and confess my sin and he'll forgive me. Right. But he's you're not going to go back to be oh, I'm just a sinner. Just like the prodigal son saying, oh, well, Dad, I've done you wrong, so uh, you can treat me this way, do me this way, do me this, do this. No. The father says, my son has come back. Yes. Amen. We're going to kill the fat camp. Put a robe on him. Yes. Put some clean sandals on him, you know. Put royalty, man. Treated him like, hey, he's a child of God. He's my son. You know, don't be calling yourself anything less than what God sees you. Amen. So it says, Children, obey, my, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. This is the first commandment with the promise. Verse 3 says this, that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. I want to live long. <laughs> so guess what? I'm going to do what he tells me to do. All we need to do is be obedient to what the Word of God tells yeah. us to do. Amen. Mm. He's not our problem. <laughs> the problem is us. <laughs> we try to fix this. We got to fix this so that we can live long and do what He tells us to do. <laughs> Easy to read version says this. says, children, obey your parents the way the Lord wants you. Wants. Because this is the right thing to do. It says, the fifth commandment says you must honor your father and mother. Yes. This is the first command that has a promise with it. The promise is that all will go well with you and you will have a long life on earth. So again, it's your choice. You have a choice. Choose the right thing. <laughs> so we celebrate Father's Day once a year, thank God. And God has given each one of us an earthly father. We talked about this a few minutes ago. You're not here by accident. You have a father. And that's how you come about. And you have a mother. It says honor your father and your mother. It takes a father and a mother to have a you. And there's no other way. It says 
None of our fathers are perfect. Even the best fathers have faults, imperfections. They make mistakes. They have weaknesses. Yeah. They have shortcomings. Yeah. And they have some failings. Yeah. Amen. So let's remember that Father, Father's Day, we focus on the good and not the bad. That's it. Amen. The good teachings, the good times, the good yes. memories. Yes. You know, if you want to remember something, remember the good times. Remember yes. the, the good memories, the good things that He showed to you. Don't yes. think about, you know, the shortcomings. Right. Don't think about the bad. Think about the good. Fifth commandment yes. says, honor, honor your father and your mother. Yes. I'm going to read this. I, I threw this in there and I, and I want to read it to you this way. But Proverbs 22 and 6. I think we, we mentioned this also in Bible study on Wednesday. Proverbs 22 and 6. King James says, train a child mm -hmm. the way he should go. Yeah. When he is old, he will not depart will from not it. Depart. Let me read it to you this way. It says, train a child, father and mother, mm -hmm. in parentheses. Train a child, mother, father, though in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. Don't pass this to the world, and don't pass it over to school system, Amen. and don't pass it over to babysitters, and don't pass it over to That's anyone right. else. It's a mother and father thing, yes. yeah. okay? Or father and mother thing. Yeah. So we don't have to pass it up to anybody else. That's it. We train our children right. the way they yes. should go. And you know, don't stand back and say, well, you know, my children turn up this way. Yeah. Right. If you never train them, they're gonna go the world's way. Yeah. They're gonna yeah. go the wrong way, amen? But you know what? You stand your ground. You teach them the way the world says. Mm -hmm. Even though the prodigal son, like prodigal son, they're going to take off and want to do their own mm -hmm. thing. Mom back. and dad are praying and believing God's best for you because you have your own free will. And you decided, it's time for me to go do my thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But guess what? Mom and dad are still praying mm -hmm. and believing yeah. God's best. We put some good seed in them. We put a, a good teachings in them. And they're going to come to Christ. Yes. And guess yeah. what? It's going to come to pass. Yeah. God's timing, it's going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. But it says, train up a child, mother, yeah. father, and let's not pass it over to the world. Yes. Because yeah. the world yeah. is going to teach them. And somebody's going to teach them because they're teachable. But when they get to the age of accountability, there's something else. Yeah. Your training days is over. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Yeah. Says father and mother teach us to forgive and forget. Father and Jesus, they taught us how to forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, John 3 16, for God so loved the world. I say, I want my children back. I want my children back. I'm going to sacrifice my son. And Jesus came, volunteered, and says, I'll go, Dad. And he came and he allowed himself to be sacrificed. But listen, Jesus on the cross. He says, Father, before I go back to you, he says, forgive them. Amen. And you know what? God honored that. Amen. God honored that. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. You see this? Noah says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, so that it may go well with you, and you may enjoy long life on earth you want to live long you, you want to obey your mother and father you mean Ephesians every one of them is holding one sign up says <laughs> Ephesians 6 1 through 3 <laughs> they doing their job you know <laughs> they're helping out hallelujah you got those chill leaders down there <laughs> praise God keep going uh, leave it right there Yes, That's okay. Amen. It says Matthew 6, 14 to 15. I keep going. I think it's in there. Maybe it's misplaced. There you go. Matthew 6, 14 and 15 says, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Uh -huh. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Right, so you have a choice. <laughs> You say, yeah. you can hold a grudge, or you can say, I'm not going to forgive you. I've heard many people say that. Oh, you know what? Man. God can forgive them, but I ain't going to forgive them. Oh, no. You just put, <laughs> you just open the door <clears throat> for, 
for the enemy to come yeah. in and yeah. have control over you right. and rule you. And you know when he rules you and he drives you, he don't want to give up. No. He wants you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember what he comes for? Kill, yeah. steal, yeah. kill, and destroy. That's what he wants right. to do. Yeah. That's all he wants with you. Right. Steal, kill, and destroy you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. Not my house. Next one. <laughs> there you go, right there. This is Matthew 18, verse 21 and 22. It says, Then Peter came to Jesus, came to him and said, Lord, how often should my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. Up to seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times times seven mm -hmm. and you can do the math on that but that's a lot of times that's a lot of time, <laughs> that's a lot that's of time. so be ready to forgive over and over amen <laughs> hallelujah let's, let's 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 remember this Woo. i'm getting to a to a head here pretty soon but we're to forgive and he tells us to forget how important it is to forgive jesus forgave father forgave we need to Learn to forgive. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Keep going, Carmen. Right there. It says, if we or I or Jose, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. From all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. The King James says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us. From all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. He's going to cleanse us from all of this. Amen. Let me see. I wrote something that says the battlefield is the mind. And the enemy is the accuser of the brethren. Yes. So he's going to say, you know what? He didn't forgive me. And you know, you're going to think, hey, maybe he didn't forgive me this time. But that's not what the word of God says. Amen. He says he will. Amen. He will. If you go to Revelations 12, <coughs> 9 through 11. Amen. Let's go there right quick. Revelation is the last book. You can't miss it. It's the last book in the Bible. <laughs> verse, uh, chapter 12 and verse 9 through 11. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, and the old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which uh, deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels, and cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and, and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of the brethren is cast down, Amen. which accused them because, before our father day and night. Amen. Amen. So let's know who the accuser is. Amen. The accuser is the enemy. Who's the enemy? Satan. Satan, Lucifer, the archangel that was cast out of heaven with a third of his angels that went with them. Yeah. Amen. So, you know, look, God said, I ain't putting up with this. Man, they cast they were cast out of heaven like lightning. Yes. Man, that was quick. That was how fast. fast. You ever see lightning? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can blink, man. The lightning is gone. Right. That's how fast. Satan was cast out. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. It says, look at the good in people and not the bad. You know what it's time for? My Jesus, Jesus glasses. glasses. You got to oh, look God. at people <laughs> with his love and his compassion. Amen. Amen. It says, look at the good in people and not the bad. And most people do this. Look through Jesus' eyes with his love and his compassion. Mm -hmm. You know, before you go, you, 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 even if you don't have glasses, just know, just go through the motion and say, I'm putting my Jesus glasses mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. I fellowship with him. I've got Jesus on yes. me. Jesus yes. is in me. He never yes. leaves me nor forsakes me. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. I have Jesus. I've got the word. And guess what? Everywhere I go, yes. I'm going to look at people yes. with his love yes. and his compassion. You know, when you start having attitude problem, just know Jesus died for them too. Amen. Jesus died for them. Amen. So who are we to hold it against them? We're not the accuser. <laughs> Amen. 
He is. So we got to stop listening to the enemy. We got to stop listening to the lies and start listening to what the word of God says and get the word in us so we can start confessing his word and do it, live in his word, amen, and follow and be a minister of reconciliation, going and seeing people with his love and his compassion. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. So I know you like to have some uh, Jesus glasses to put on. <laughs> <laughs> says perhaps your father's still alive <coughs> praise God and thank him for it maybe he's in heaven still just say thank you and Amen. thank him for it honor him no excuses. no excuses it's a command from God not a suggestion That's it. amen if he's still alive listen to this some of you watching some of you listening if you, your dad is still alive visit with him call him write him text him email him. There's so many ways you can get a hold of him. Right. Yeah. Stay in touch with him. No excuses. Amen. Mm -hmm. No more excuses. I'm going to be closing with this. It says love, accept, forgive, and honor him. This is real simple. Fix any wrongs. Yep. You know how yeah. you're going to fix any wrongs? You're going to say Whatever the situation may be, mm -hmm. says, I forgive. Nothing. Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Right. And he was sacrificed. They released a, a murderer, <laughs> Barnabas. Barabbas. 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 They released Barabbas. That was a test, brother. <laughs> you, you passed. Thank you. And I have a go down right here. <laughs> they, released, they released Barabbas. Uh -huh. A murderer uh -huh. instead of releasing Jesus. Yeah. So who are we to hold and say, well, I ain't going to forgive my dad. You know, he's never around. He never this, never that, never that. Forgive. He brought you into this world. Yes. He's still your dad. Amen. It says fix any wrongs. Fix the past. Again, no more excuses. No more excuses. Amen. Anybody can have an excuse. Jesus yeah. could have had an excuse yeah. to say, I don't want to leave heaven. Why do I want to leave heaven? Everything's perfect up here. Exactly. Yeah. You know, why do I want to go? I don't want to go and be sacrificed. I've got a perfect life here. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. But he gave, God gave his son. His son gave his life. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice for us to have Amen. freedom salvation. So, Heavenly Father, we just want to say happy Father's Day. All Amen. of you watching, all of you listening, we just wanted to say happy Father's Day to you. Amen. Amen. God bless. So, did you bury something? Did you, yes. did you get it? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Some of you listening, some of you are watching, know that today you can receive Him as your Lord and Savior. He can Amen. be your Heavenly Father. Amen. And you can be His child. Amen. So, but all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he will. Amen. When you confess him, he'll come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. Start making changes. Get to a Bible-based church where you can study the word. Read the word. Learn the word. Amen. And get the reading of the word of God. And getting it in you. And meditating on it. Not only get it in you, but let it flow from you. Amen. And confess what the word of God says. Confess the truth. Amen. The truth is going to set you free from all these negative mindsets. Amen. So let's remember that. Amen. You have sickness in your body? Speak to your body. I do all the time. I say, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. You I to receive no malfunctions in my body. I receive no sickness in my body. That's not from God. So sickness... You have a name. I cast you out. I command you to go in Jesus' name. I do not accept you. Amen. Yeah. I Amen. rebuke you and I command you to go. And I speak healing over my body. Yeah. From the head to my toes. Amen. And no malfunctions. Everything functions the way God created it to function. So thank you, Lord. Woo. Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's time to give. Amen. So if you're watching, listening, just go to our website nbcmcbean.com and hit that donate button if you're mailing it nbc p.o box 252 Marfa, texas 79843 and for cash in just go to new beginnings church of the big band god loves you and we love you and happy father's day amen, amen. thank you Keith.